Good morning, everyone. Levi, my dear friend, my special friend. Thank you. And I saw you over there tearing up. I hope I didn't strike a chord there too early in the morning. Every time I see that video, it reminds me so much of how I met you and how much we've spent time together. And I'm so honored to call you a friend and what you have done, not only for our country, but for our industry. So thank you, my dear friend, for allowing me the honor of introducing you to a lot of my friends. And yeah. really so I would love for everyone in the chat to just go at it, say good morning, where are you from? You're, I want Levi to know where everyone who is tuning in is from. So just drop a little chat. We have people join us for Fire Fridays from all over, from different time zones, just like yourself. So uh, lots of love is going to be sent your way. Uh, we've got people from New York. Where else? Everybody in the chat, this man is taking the time to share his story with us. So let's show him some love. Tampa, Fort Lauderdale, North Carolina, um, a lot, a lot of people. And Levi, I wanted to play that video because I think it's important for everyone to know your journey. And, and then we get into the nitty gritty of what you're doing. How's business? Yep. And how amazing things are going for you guys. And um, again, I just, I remember meeting you. I remember you and I being locked in a room, um, preparing for a speech and having professionals from TEDx train us yep. on how to prepare for a speech so that we could speak in front of thousands of people who, just like you, I probably thought, I'm just a girl who wanted to sell real estate to provide. And, you know, um, can you guys complete yourself if you're not speaking? I'm gonna mute everyone real quick and then I'm gonna unmute Levi. Um, just like you, I was there and I was just wondering why I was there. And I just knew I wanted to sell real estate. We had this opportunity with Zillow to speak in front of our colleagues or peers. And you were being trained by TEDx speakers, like professional speakers. And I remember you and I were so nervous in that yep. room. Um, but you've been through so much in life that that was nothing compared to everything you've built. So you get on that stage and you win the hearts of thousands of your peers <laughs> and everybody loves Levi. And thank you. Thank you for allowing me to be on that journey with you. And we've become friends ever since. And we have done other things, some of them confidential that we can't talk, talk about. Um, but it's just been an honor to see you continue to thrive. So I want to make this morning, I love to honor it. It's usually rapid fire. It's all about you. What's going on at Levi Rogers Military Series of City? What, you know, share with our friends here, you know, how did this happen? What do you guys do? Obviously that video was a really good summary, but just welcome my friend and let's just have a conversation. No, awesome. Hey, thank you, Veronica. I appreciate it. Thank you, everyone who's uh, come join us today as well. Uh, hey, Veronica, one, one thing that um, you know, I've learned uh, since that is uh, I, I feel that, in, you know, in America or just in business where one phone call or one text or one message from anyone in the world, it, it just has to be the message. And sometimes it's the message we send. Um, and that could resonate with uh, lead conversion and so forth, which I'm sure will come up. But how how everything happened for me with Zillow, I was a customer, wasn't the biggest spender in the world. But uh, I was on Facebook one night and I saw people bashing Zillow. And uh, I said, man, who the heck is the CEO of Zillow? Let me Google him. So I, I get on Google, it's like two in the morning and uh, Spencer Raskoff comes up. So I cold message uh, the then CEO of uh, Zillow about two in the morning. And I said, hey, sir, I just wanna let you know your product is getting bashed all over the internet here um, and uh, I have not experienced that uh, in San Antonio and in San Antonio, you're having a great impact, uh, at least in my uh, sphere of influence and in my, uh, um, you know, my business. And so uh, what was amazing from that is I learned that the right message to the right person will get a response at all times, but that's how my relationship with Zillow elevated very rapidly uh, about nine o'clock that morning, uh, Jay Thompson, uh, reaches out to me and he's like, hey, Levi, you sent a message last night to Spencer Raskoff. He wants to share it with the whole company. I'm like, whoa, what's that? Who is this guy? Two weeks later, I was invited to the, the Premier Agent Elite Forum. And uh, that's how it all began. 
And so uh, that's where we met out originally. And then it just kind of snowballed from there. Uh, one other thing I, I took a note on when you were uh, introducing me, uh, if you ever have the opportunity to speak to thousands of people, don't forget business cards. Um, I forgot business cards that day after that speech and I'll never forget that. I met so many people and uh, had, had a neat, pretty good impact at, uh, on after that speech. and. Did not have any, not one business card, but uh, it's uh, crazy. The nerves get all over on you. People ask me all the time, well, you know, you do so well. What I have. I'm like, I'm not. <laughs> you forget about everything right then and there. You're just in the moment. So I think yep. if I, we, I think we have a way to find you though. I think that Absolutely. video now has had over 73,000 views. I don't know if you know that. 73,000 views. So kudos to you. So let's talk Thank about you. it. So obviously, recently you just. Um, we're given a very amazing recognition. I remember when you and I were talking and you're like, dude, uh, like, was it the Secretary of Defense or who was it that called you? Yeah, so, so like, uh, people call you, there's a reason right. why. <laughs> so uh, what was uh, interesting one day, um, you know, we, we employ and uh, have a lot of agents that are from the military background and are either veterans or family members. And uh, um, one of our uh, employees and team members uh, is in the National Guard. And so he went through his deployment and we were very supportive of, of him and his family during that time. Well, unbeknownst to me, there's a process in the National Guard to write up companies that support the, the National Guard and reserves. Uh, and uh, our, the write-up he wrote made it all the way through. And, you know, fast forward six months later, the Secretary of Defense calls the office. And uh, um, we were one of the 15 recipients of what's known as the Freedom Award. And uh, it's pretty prestigious. Uh, we are the only real estate company, small or big, ever uh, to receive this award. And uh, uh, went to the Pentagon. We actually have a glass case at the Pentagon. Um, with our company, just pretty, it's pretty cool. Wow, that is so yeah. awesome. And I know that the video that I played shared a little bit about your story and your platoon, um, and, and obviously when you were in Afghanistan, which you know we're so grateful for your service and your story is just such an inspiring story. Um, but this particular recognition was is was because the employing is this correct? We're on a mission bring veterans back to work and show them how real estate can help them. And my goal with this call is always to bring value to the people who take time out of their day. And one of the biggest things is like finding their purpose. Like how are they really aligning their purpose with their business so that they can grow a business that's profitable, that's successful, that's meaningful, that's fulfilling. And you're doing so because you care about our country, you care about the military, and you want to bring veterans into your real estate world. And can you share a little bit more about that? And am I correct that that's what the Freedom Award was for? Uh, yes, uh, the Freedom Award was for, you know, to recognize just our, our support of, of the military, just like you said, uh, specifically employing uh, National Guard and Reserves. Uh, uh, but um, for me, you, you know, I, I want to point out Everybody has a why, you know, mine just happens to be military and veteran uh, community because it's important to me. Uh, whatever your why is, uh, you can go out there, go out there and own it. Yeah, somebody's, uh, okay, are we good? Yeah, okay. Yeah, go out there and, and own it. Uh, you know, that why could be a local community, a local church, uh, um, local neighborhood, you know, whatever it is. Uh, but for me, the military and veteran community is super important. Uh, I think that the most challenging uh, uh, aspect of the military service is not so much the entrance, not so much the actual service, but it's the departure from the military, the transition that not only the service member, not only the service member, but the family also um, has to go through as well. And so, uh, you know, when you've worked uh, for 20 years and, you know, in predominantly combat environment or a high paced military environment, transitioning to a professional service or industry in the civilian world is, is tough stuff. Uh, and uh, so we provide an avenue to where the culture, the, the understanding, everything, just, just being able to let 
maybe an employee have an opportunity, um, uh, you know, maybe they have a lot of medical appointments, uh, maybe they have to belong to a group for therapy, or, or maybe they uh, suffered from uh, alcohol or drug abuse secondary to their post-traumatic stress due to their service. Um, you know, my company, uh, we're, we're a safe house for, for my people. And so that, that's the purpose. That is so awesome. And it's so inspiring. Um, yeah. I, I just can't even begin to explain like the chills I have right now. Every time I think about what you're doing, I'm so inspired. I feel like I'm not doing enough, but you know, like, it's just amazing. You, you're, you're inspiring well over a hundred people today because I know they're going to go tell other friends and, um, about what you're doing and, you know, what recommendation do you have to agents in today's market? Because I know you run a really, really tight ship. You run a great business, yeah. tough business, because a lot of these people are here to hear about how you're so successful. And I know because I'm in some groups with you where we're super yep. competitive and you're yep. always at the top. You're at the <laughs> you're a converter. You have processes, right. systems. You have and so from so speak to the agent, right? Whether it's the solo agent who's not on a team, the team leader or the team member, right? You know, you know real estate. You know what buyers are looking for, what sellers are looking for, what people in the military, right. not just the military, because I know you service people who are not in the military as well. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and you have been in the in the industry. You've risen to the top, and and you've worked your ass off for it. Um, but a lot quicker than a lot of other people. I think it has a lot to do with your military background and your your just demeanor of in your work ethics. But today's real estate agent, what are you seeing? What are your people seeing? And what can we do to help our agents who are listening to this call today serve more clients, follow up better, and convert better? Absolutely. No, I, I think that there, there's certainly localities in different markets, though, but um, you know, generally speaking, show up to the fight. So many people, uh, you know, they sleep until noon every day in our business. Uh, so many people, um, you know, or, or take a part-time approach uh, uh, with it. Um, and so uh, I, I would say, you know, getting face-to-face -face with people, I, I say that, you know, with a pre-COVID, uh, you know, <laughs> statement, but, um, you, you know, uh, getting to them, uh, helping them solve their objections, creating pathways. Uh, one of the things that we do in our organization is everybody we meet with, uh, we have a, an acronym that we have them uh, write uh, on all their notes, and it's uh, the summary, in-state, barriers, and pathway. And what I've identified is that most people that connect with you, whether if it comes from Zillow, Trulia, Realtor.com, most people that agree to meet with the real estate, they'll buy a home within a year's time. Yeah. And it's typically the real estate agent that has not identified what barriers exist for them to meet their goals and created a pathway uh, for that buyer to arrive at their desired end state. And so summary, end state barriers, pathway. Uh, and uh, that's, we've had a lot of success with that. Um, and, you know, and we have a process with our, our CRM uh, and our, just our, our sales and management to make sure that it's, you know, being stuck with as well. So what is that process, if you don't mind? Like what, what you know, a lead comes in or a client, a past client comes in um, you obviously have embedded in your agent's mind that we're not looking for necessarily the now business. And in your mission, I love how you say, you know, you, you're always going to put the client first before the, the, the mission, I mean, the money and, right. and your personal needs. Um, so what is that CRM follow-up or what's the, what's the, what's one secret of that your CRM that you guys use that helps you stay in front of those clients that may not be ready right now? So, you know, we have a, a pretty robust ISA team, uh, and I just made a strategical shift uh, based off the, the, the market. Uh, uh, we were focusing our ISAs uh, to uh, attack the deal from the initial internet click up to what I call the appointment line. However, uh, due to technology and due to some of our relationships we have, we're receiving the, the, the deals uh, when they're ready to meet with the agent. So we've shifted the focus of our ISA team from what I call the appointment line to the contract line, uh, a little bit further down the, the funnel. So uh, you'll see our ISAs interject post meeting with an agent um, and contacting the consumer. Hey, uh, Beth, uh, you know, uh, I saw that you met with uh, 
Alan and how that meeting go. Uh, is there anything that we can do in terms of adjusting the searches, et cetera, et cetera, to help you uh, uh, get where you need to go? Uh, or, hey, Alan, um, you know, the, from the ISA, hey, Alan, to Alan, the agent, uh, you know, I noticed that Beth, the buyer, was active today. Uh, I shot her a text. I just wanted to give you a heads up. She's looking at real estate really hard right now. You may want to give her a call. And so uh, we realized that our agents are out in the field hustling during the day or taking much needed, uh, you know, R and R as well. Uh, and so our ISA team, we shifted focus from getting them from appointment to con or from initial internet click to appointment, and we're focusing now from appointment to contract. And so uh, that that would be uh, some of my most recent uh, secret sauce right there. That's some secret sauce there. I got my ISA on here and he's saying he loves this. Um, <laughs> love it. I think definitely our ISA's model has shifted. We know they're needed, but instead of the, you know, going for the kill of like convert, convert, convert the appointment, that's really not really where we feel that's needed. I think it's more like, hey, were we able to get them to the finish line? Were mm -hmm. we able to provide the service that we promised them? And that position is so important now because I mean, we're drinking from a fire hose, the amount of calls too that we get and the amount of people, but it's like, how are you going to manage that, right? right. Um, how are you going to manage it to where they're not just getting in contact with an agent being thrown up against, you know, throwing, thrown over the fence and just forgotten, right? And um, I love that you're taking that approach. Don't, don't, uh, I think that you and I still have a pending conversation on ISA that I'm going to dig deep on. All right, so, <laughs> you know, what's the vision? What's the vision for Military City? And again, we keep these really short and I'm sure people want to go, want to ask some questions. So what's the vision next for Military City? So right now, um, you know, we're a Remax franchise, a team owned franchise. So, you know, I want to expand throughout the country. I want to hit up other military markets. And so for me, uh, you know, profitability isn't, um, we have to remain profitable to keep the ship going. Uh, I, I, I say to keep our Ginny in the water. I don't know if you're Forrest Gump, uh, movie fans, uh, uh, you know, Forrest Gump and Lieutenant Dan, they kept their, their boat in the water, got all the shrimp. So, um, you know, but, uh, uh, you know, I, I want to keep our Ginny in the water per se. However, I want to have an impact on, on my people uh, nationally. And so uh, there's a lot of hyper local markets like Fort Bragg, North Carolina, uh, Fort Benning, Georgia, uh, where, um, you know, I think that we could certainly help our folks with, uh, access to knowledge, uh, you know, with the VA loan. The VA loan is a great uh, tool. Uh, it's a great opportunity for those that serve to grow wealth. Uh, and uh, a lot of people entering the military uh, don't have, uh, don't come from a lot of money. And a VA loan is a great pathway uh, for those that serve to, if they make smart real estate decisions, uh, grow wealth. And uh, it worked for me. Uh, and um, I've seen it work for a lot of other people. And so uh, we're going to get out into these other communities nationally. We did a test uh, run on an expansion in Colleen, Texas. And um, what you'll see over the next six months or so is uh, we start to expand to other hyperlocal military markets throughout the country. I love that. I love that. Your dream is truly something that is fun to watch because I've seen how it has started and just seeing it grow is so much fun. Um, and I know that you are going to accomplish that goal if anybody can accomplish it. All right, I so I want to some questions. Um, <laughs> someone said something privately that I'll have to share with you later. Uh, uh -oh. <laughs> but uh, it was a compliment. Um, okay, all right. But um, I want to just kind of open it up. If anybody has any questions for Levi, jot your, uh, uh, drop your questions or you can unmute yourself because he's just one of the most down to earth person that I know, people that I know, and I know he's willing to answer anything. But so let me ask you this, when you are recruiting to Military City, how do you go about recruiting and how do people find you? Um, what is it that you do to attract these veterans? That's one of the questions I have. How do they know so, that you guys out there? Well, here in San Antonio, you know, we, we have this thing I've learned in the military, it's called buy with through, um, meaning that, um, you know, by, with, and through the people we have, uh, we're going to spread our, 
uh, our culture. And so uh, utilization of our branding, uh, you know, being social on social media, uh, you know, up until probably about earlier this year, we never recruited per se. Uh, we just, when people would just show up or, or hear about us and we enjoyed that uh, benefit, but now we're actively uh, pursuing people on online and social media, we go to uh, uh, the local real estate school. Uh, we're engaged with military uh, units uh, throughout the San Antonio area. Uh, but uh, I, I uh, re rely heavily on our on our agents and our, our, our teammates that may be employees uh, to share with their sp sphere of influence. Hey. You know, uh, here's our culture here, and um, they go from there. I, I, I tell a story about a guy. Uh, he came to me. He turned out to be one of our most successful agents, uh, uh, and uh, we'll, we'll call him Jeff. And uh, I get, I'm sitting in my office, and uh, the, the secretary comes to me and says, Hey, Levi, hey, there's this guy that just showed up. Uh, he uh, won't leave. And um, I'm like, what do you mean he won't leave? And so, uh, and um, so go find out who he is. And uh, he said, so the message came back and said, hey, he's a Purple Heart recipient uh, and he wants to meet with you. So I'm like, all right, come on. And so, uh, so we adjust everything and uh, we bring Jeff back and uh, uh, comes in there and he says, uh, Mr. Rogers, I heard about you. Uh, I'm going to work for you. I said, oh. Okay, very stern and uh, militaristic. And so I said, grab a seat. He had his whole military file with them. And uh, he's like, here it is. And uh, uh, this guy uh, was determined uh, and uh, uh, hired him on the spot. And uh, he turned out to be a very, very successful agent. Uh, he, he since went and moved uh, to Colorado. And, uh, but uh, uh, he showed up and he uh, just heard about us. And so we are very fortunate to have a culture that a lot of people know about and, uh, and come. And so that's kind of how we've gotten to where we're at now. But we need to get out there and actively recruit right now to get to our next step. Now, you are Zillow's broker partner in San Antonio, Texas. Let me ask you this, because I also am Zillow's partner in Orlando, Florida. Um, how nerve wracking was that? And I personally felt um, that it was one of the biggest professional challenges of my career. Um, the infrastructure, a lot of people ask, oh, can you throw my name in the hat? Or can you like, you know, put a good word in for me? Um, and I remember telling you, um, this is going to be a lot of work. Yep. Yeah. A lot of people think that we have some golden ticket, but they don't realize how much work goes into this. For those who are looking to get into this type of account, let's say someone who's in a market or just is curious because it looks easy, right? What, 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 what could you say about that, that we can confidentially say, that we could say that's, you know, within um, the boundaries of confidentiality without violating them? And right. um, what have you learned about yourself? during this last, this journey? Well, you know, we tell everybody in our company to leave your pride in the trunk of the car before you walk into our office. And, uh, mm -hmm. you know, I must say, uh, before uh, the competition, you know, I did a lot of market research and talked to other people. I looked at uh, who's succeeding throughout the, the country. Uh, and uh, it was uh, honestly, I guess the best way to describe it is, uh, the most important, most critical uh, listing appointment of my career. And, uh, um, and you know, I think that uh, um, you, uh, <laughs> you got to be prepared. You know, as soon as they came in, we had presentations ready for them. Uh, and we treated it like a listing appointment. And, you know, and so, uh, and due to the market research that I was able to do based off of observing other folks that are succeeding, I was able to identify pretty much what, what I thought they may be looking for. Uh, and uh, we had a solution for every question that they brought to us uh, prepared. And so, uh, uh, but yeah, uh, if anybody's out there categorizing, trying to land an account with Zillow or any other uh, institutional partner in the real estate pace is easy. Uh, that's, that's the furthest from the truth. Uh, we're, we're talking tons of uh, hours of, uh, uh, of preparation and then and just getting the account. That's one thing, but maintaining the account is another. 
and so uh, lots of work. Yeah, and I love how you said it. This was the biggest and probably the most important listing appointment of your professional career. And, um, you know, I've had, you know, listen, in our market, competition is always going to, yep. you know, always have their opinion and all that. Our relationship and our choice to work with such a big conglomerate company, we know we're providing opportunities, jobs, and, and, and just wanting to be aligned with the company. But I love how you said, at the end of the day, it was a listing appointment. And we prepare ourselves. So I would say to any agent who's going out for business and looking to grow their business, if you are um, going on a listing appointment, be prepared. Make sure you know yeah. who your competition is. Make sure you are ready to, like Levi said, answer any of those objections. You know, don't just go into a listing appointment blindly. Make sure you have, you know who they're interviewing. I knew who they were interviewing, or I thought I knew. Mm -hmm. I guessed who they were interviewing. And I yeah. knew. I had to come and be ready to show that I was the agent that they needed to hire. And mm -hmm. Levi, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of what you've built. I know that you are just going to continue to crush it. Keep on inspiring other people because you are my friend, a hero, not only in, you know, the military, but also in our real estate world. We do have one question. Patty wanted to ask you, where were you, where were you stationed in North Carolina? Yes, uh, I was at uh, Fort Bragg, North Carolina, in Fayetteville. I, I see the rest. Of you. Can you share that? Uh, yeah. So um, the agent, uh, his name name was uh, Gary Langdon. What happened was uh, uh, Gary uh, called him off a sign. This was from a payphone. Before this is pre cell phone. Uh, you know, I went and called Gary, and he met us at the property. It got face to face. I wanted to buy it. It was a double wide trailer, and it was his listing. And uh, Gary, he, he said, son, um, you know, I know you like the property. You can certainly buy it, but I think there's better options for you. Uh, and he explained to me why. He took me to another property, uh, told me that the, the upside potential of the property, the second property, uh, was far more than the first property. And, uh, uh, and he was pretty stern about it. And so uh, it's just 30 seconds of honesty from a complete stranger. It changed the whole course of my life. You know, we were, uh, when I sold that house, you know, I was in debt. I, was, I didn't have a job. Uh, I was in a bad situation, you know, that a lot of uh, transitioning veterans find themselves in. And it was a smart real estate decision at Fort Bragg, North Carolina, facilitated by a stranger that changed the whole course of my life and inspired me to get into real estate today. I love that, my friend. You are so mm -hmm. amazing. And thank awesome. much words for our amazing guests who took the time out this morning, bright and early, to be here with you. What can you say to them? No, no, I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, if anybody uh, has anything for me, uh, be more than happy to, to keep going or, or, you know, whatever you guys need. If anybody sidebars, uh, um, you know, we have a great mission. We have a great vision and uh, we're actually good at what we do too. So it's a, uh, I love yeah, that. It's a win. <laughs> and so, <laughs> so I would say, um, you know, because I want to honor everyone's time and we try to keep these to about 30 minutes. Um, okay. Obviously, how can they reach you, Levi, if they want to connect with you, send you a referral, follow you, and just pick your brain on all things Levi Rogers? Uh, Facebook uh, is uh, the obvious uh, easy button there. I could put my cell phone number in here as well. I, text is always uh, best, you know, but, uh, um, you know, and it, but Facebook would be the, the easy way, you know, to just go ahead and friend request on Facebook. And then uh, I bet I put my cell phone in there as well. If there's anything I could do for any of you guys, just hit me up. Yeah. And if anybody wants to say anything to Levi, you can unmute yourself. We'd be more than happy to. If not, we'll wrap it up. I'll give you guys an opportunity um, to just either thank him for his service or just ask him any questions, just the open forum. We don't usually do an open forum, but for this one, I figured, let me just make it where it's just us two and you guys together. So if anybody wants to unmute themselves, please feel free to. And Hey, Levi, I just wanted to say we appreciate your time and uh, I'm going to be hitting you up and maybe we can talk a little bit. I'm over in Fort Bragg, North Carolina as well. Oh, awesome. Okay. Hopefully I didn't get uh, Gary Langdon in any kind of trouble. He's, he's, he's far from retired, but, uh, you know, it's, uh, um, <laughs> but no, yeah, we're good. Hey, hey, I think that's, that's awesome that he, he did you right. And uh, Absolutely. now you're kind of moving forward and doing other people right. So that's the way to do business, right? 
100%. Oh my God, we have a new guest on here. This just got even better, ladies and gentlemen. The one and only Lori Reader. Uh oh. Oh, you're on mute. What, Lori? Wait. I wasn't about to miss the one and only Veronica Figueroa and Levi. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> wow, this is a party, ladies and gentlemen. This is a party. Well, Lori, we are just now wrapping up. We're letting everyone ask Levi any questions and a lot of big thank yous. Guys, let's keep this going. Anyone else with questions for Levi or comment? We are so lucky this morning. Levi. I just want to remind you, I love you, and I'm so grateful for your service to our country and, and our real estate community. I just love you. Oh, well, thank you, Lori. Well, I love you, too. You're always here to help me out, and so I've learned a ton from you, uh, as I have Veronica, and uh, I'm sure there's some others on this uh, on this uh, video call that have taught me a thing or two also. So. Well, guys, I will say this. If you hang around us too long, it'll turn into a love fest. And also, we will make you believe in yourself. We'll make you believe that you're awesome. We'll, we'll, we'll pep you up. We'll remind you, like, who's the man? Who's the girl? Who's the man? So if you want to hang around with us a little bit longer, you could do so. Just know that we're that type of crew. You know, you know, we're going to make you believe in yourself. So there's my girl, Lori, who peps me up every day. And then, obviously, Levi, thank you again. Um, I think that everybody is just in awe with your story and what you're doing and your mission to help others. And just, we're so proud of you, my dear friend. Um, guys, you. I'm going to honor your time. I'm going to wrap this up. If you guys are enjoying these, please let a friend know. Invite them every Friday. This is so we can give back and help people grow in their mission, in their business, as people, and meet amazing people. I love you guys all. Have an amazing, amazing day. If you like this, please share and let people know that they missed an amazing Fire Friday, but we will be posting the replays. So I love you guys all, and thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Bye.